Hello everyone, and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Jai, Amit Sharma's son, has finally exposed him in Emmerdale. In Wednesday's, March 27, episode, Jai learned about his biological father's shady activities, following Eric Pollard's initial warning that Amit was up to no good. In the most recent installment, Jai learned that Amit was concealing some very dark truths, despite his dismissal of Eric's warning. At first, dejected, Eric told Vinny and Rodney that if Jai hadn't also been at Holdgate for the confrontation, Amit most likely would have dispatched him. When Jay's father offered to take Hop's profits to the bank, Jay began to fear Amit was up to no good. He made the decision to follow his father, and when he did, he saw Amit paying off the woman who had been threatening him in covert meetings with the money from the Hopi. Telling the loan shark, it's a down payment, I can get you the rest in installments. Amit assured the woman that he would soon have the company turning a profit like water from a tap, and that he could obtain additional funding from the Hopi to settle her debt. Jai looked at his father suspiciously and attempted to undermine his account when Amit subsequently told Gabby and Suni that he had lost their money in a mugging. After that, Jai went to see Eric to apologize for not listening to the warnings and to suggest that they collaborate. Jai informed Eric, Amit is a thief, a conman, and a liar. I saw him today, handing over the takings from the hide to that loan shark. Amit's been playing us all. Looking for weakness, he realized at that moment. He is an apex predator. Amit has us all in his sights, hoping to take advantage of and defraud us. Now that they both knew Amit had to be responsible for Rishi's demise, Jai requested Eric to provide watertight proof so they could expose the fraudster. The show has already suggested that Amit might have been responsible for Rishi's passing, because the brothers were about to receive a sizable inheritance at the time of the strange event. Michelle Hardwick, star of Emmerdale, has reacted to her wife Kate Brooks' decision to join rival soap opera Coronation Street. This week, Brooks, who has been a producer on Emmerdale since 2018, was named as Coronation Street's next producer. Brooks will assume creative duties starting in April. Prow you to wife A L E R T was the beautiful message Hardwick posted on Instagram in honor of her wife, Vanessa Woodfield, who she plays on the ITV soap opera. She stated in the caption, So the word is out that my gorgeous, talented wife is moving from the Dales to the Cobbles to become the producer of Coronation Street series. Her bright grin and amazing storytelling sense will be missed by all at Emmerdale, I'm sure of it. To all of my buddies on Coronation Street, you guys are so fortunate to have someone like me. Kate, good luck. Teddy, Betty, and I all adore you and are incredibly proud of you. Ash Palmashano, who portrays Maddie Barton on Emmerdale, was among the cast members who congratulated Brooks on Hardwick's tweet, saying, she will smash it too, they are so lucky to have her. Ruby Fox Milligan's actress, Beth Cordingly remarked, Oh, what a lovely post. We're all utterly devastated, but extremely reluctantly, glad for you both, as well as for amazing KB. Take care of her at Coronation Street, you don't realize how fortunate you are. The character Lydia Dingle, played by Karen Blick, commented in the meanwhile, Well done Kate, the cobbles are very lucky, you'll be missed in the Dales. I've had a wonderful time working on Emmerdale, and I feel immensely proud to be part of a team that has achieved such great success over the past eight years," Brooks stated in a statement in response to this week's announcement. Emmerdale has given me so much more than I could have ever dreamed, both personally and professionally, and I will always be grateful for that. Thank you, Emmerdale. It has been a true joy. In one of the next storylines for her character Ella Forster, Emmerdale newbie Paula Lane has hinted at a major bombshell. The former Coronation Street star was cast as the compassionate and caring Ella in the ITV soap opera, 
It was revealed in November of last year. Lane revealed to Ella that her persona had responsibilities elsewhere when discussing a hidden side. The soap opera diva declared, Ella does have a past that is going to be revealed. She does have responsibilities elsewhere outside the village that mean a great deal to her, and I'm so looking forward to exploring this further. Lane hinted that there is a side to Ella that viewers haven't yet seen and that it involves her defending what she values most in life. She will battle so hard to defend that circumstance when something or someone so precious to her is in danger. There's a lot to fight for right now, and this is a side of her that we haven't yet seen. Speaking candidly, Lane said she believes Ella and herself are switched on and sociable about the characteristics they have in common. I like to think of myself as a decent character judge, and I think the same of her. I appreciate that we both advocate for ourselves, she remarked. I just wish she could trust herself and others a bit more, but obviously perhaps she has good reason to try and overly protect herself. When Ella moved to the village in January of this year, she made friends with Mandy Dingle and received an employment offer from Manpreet Sharma as a receptionist. I've met so many wonderful characters so far, but very much hoping to work with the Dingles more, Lane stated. I think Mandy should invite Ella round for a Dingle dinner to introduce me to her family. In Emmerdale, Jai Sharma has exacted retribution on Amit, his biological father. After witnessing Amit give the hops proceeds to a loan shark, and then act as though he had been mugged, Jai has learned this week that he is up to no good. Later, Jai said he would work with Eric Pollard to demonstrate that Amit had to be involved in Rishi Sharma's death from the previous year. Jai confronted Amit about his theories at Holdgate right away in Thursday's, March 28, episode, igniting a violent sequence of events that would unfold throughout the double bill. Jai gave Amit a warning as he attempted to argue his point. You can abandon the act. I am well informed. Amit acknowledged that he was keen to start a family business with his sons, but he did it anyway despite not having the funds to purchase into the Hopi. Jai tricked Amit into admitting that he intended to defraud Gabby of her portion of the HOP after that and utilize the company to settle his obligations. After discussing Rishi's passing, Amit and the other person got into a violent argument on the stairs during which Amit confessed to killing his brother. Jai informed him, finally, thank you. Then Jai pushed Amit off the steps, onto the floor where he lay in a pool of blood. Eric Pollard wanted to contact the police, even though he hated Amit, and he showed there at the worst possible time. Eric was led outside by Jai, who revealed that he had filmed Amit's confession so that Eric would have evidence of his father's illicit activities. He asked Eric with knowledge, it's going to be my word against his, and it's not like you saw anything, right? Before Jai swore to push Amit to bring himself in, Eric promised not to tell the police anything. Jay then made his way back inside Holdgate to tidy up the blood that had mysteriously covered the walls. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.